Today we're going to take a look at Cardano. We're going to update the price charts, look at it against Bitcoin and Ethereum to see how it is trending. Take a look at some of the news on Cardano and give a final wrap up of where we see it going from here. So if you're interested to learn more about Cardano and how to read charts, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below here and the bell notification icon. Give the video a like if you find some value from the channel. Let's get stuck into the video. Quick check at the fear and greed. We're sitting at 93. Now, 93, yesterday 91, last week 92, last month 78. So we did see the crash on Bitcoin, which has affected that. Right now, we are well and truly up in the greed. And this thing could probably stay up here for a considerable period of time and prices continue to go up. Market capitalizations, Cardano, we're at six, still ahead of XRP, Litecoin, Chainlink, just slightly beneath Polkadot. Well, that should actually be flipped now. So Cardano's flip Polkadot hasn't registered yet on CoinMarketCap. Anywho, number five, looking good. $28.5 billion market cap, 91 cents. Polkadot, $28 billion, 300 million. Let's just hit refresh. We've got a total market cap of 1.6 trillion. So there we are, Cardano just flipped it. Binance is doing a massive run at the moment, over $200 now for one BNB. Looking good, these top five are looking good. XRP on the slide down, probably will spike up again, but I think we'll see Cardano, Polkadot stick around in this top 10 very easily, probably to the top five. BNB is starting to cement its position, but of course, after every big run, we usually see these sort of coins pull back, have a bit of cooling off. And at that time, if the market begins to cool off, I think we'll see a little bit of a run on Chainlink. Chainlink tends to do super well when the market is down or when Bitcoin is just taking its time off or in fact heading down. So Chainlink is a, another good one to keep an eye on. But of course, today we're gonna to look at Cardano. Let's flip across to the charts and I'm gonna look at Cardano versus BTC first. Now, there were a few questions in the comments around how to measure this and why are we looking at altcoins versus their altcoin or Bitcoin counterparts. And this is because we want to increase our altcoin positions. If we're only looking at the US dollar chart, we can get a false reading of how impressive the altcoin is actually moving. That's why it's important to look at each of the different altcoins against the altcoin that you're trading. So we're going to look at Cardano versus Ethereum as well. And that looks very exciting for Cardano holders. Right now we're looking at Cardano versus Bitcoin and it is moving up as well, which generally means if Bitcoin is moving up or Bitcoin staying steady, it means Cardano is heading up in US dollar value as well. So Cardano looking to break through this previous resistance at around 2000 Satoshis. This just means that you could have tripled your Bitcoin holdings if you bought Cardano late December and now we're sitting up around 1900. So before it was around five or 600 Satoshis. That is how we increase our Bitcoin holdings, not just from the dollars. The dollars may not get us there because the dollar, the Bitcoin value could be falling, but the dollars are rising, but Bitcoin could be rising at the same time. Now, if that's a little tricky to understand, hit me up in the comments, jump over to my Instagram and ask some questions over there. I'm going the daily Q and A's on Instagram stories. So my link will be in the description down below. You can ask all of your questions over there and I'll get back to you on stories. So Cardano Bitcoin looking very strong. Another great trade from the lows here uh, in our portfolio that I'll look at at the end of this. We were buying up Cardano just a couple of weeks ago. So we've managed to get nearly double our Bitcoin holdings just by buying Cardano. So that's looking good. Next resistance point on Cardano is let's bring it out to a weekly chart. And we're looking at around 2300 or up around this little uh, resistance point up here that we saw on the way down. That's probably going to be somewhere around that 25. So 23 to 25, I would say around 2300. Maybe we'll see another little spike out and basically hopefully hold a position above the 2000 because this is where we're seeing resistance at the moment. So we definitely want to see something like this come back or let's just go straight up to the moon. Either way, it's good news for Cardano if we can break through this 2000 Satoshi resistance. Above that, 
My next level is looking at around 4,000. So I think we may quickly slice through unless we get a bit of a hold up at around 3,000 that we can see some resistance uh, and support previously in 2018. So pretty much uh, all of the airway above here for Cardano looks pretty decent. We've got a 2,000, 2,300, a 3,000, and then a 4,000 Satoshi level to break our heads through. So if Bitcoin stays where it is at $52,000, and Cardano happens to double against its Bitcoin value, it's currently at around 91 cents. So that would see us go to around a dollar 80 on Cardano. So let's take a look at the US dollar chart next, and then we'll save the best for last, which is Cardano versus Ethereum. Happen to be wearing the Ethereum t-shirt today. Cardano, US dollar, massive, massive cup. I think we're going to break through this top just with a little bit of time here, just to pull back, bring on the gas, and smash through the highs here. So if I take this off, let's drop this back to auto. And what we're looking for is a clean break through that 95 cents. I know a dollar is the level that everyone's looking for. It's the psychological level. Yes, I think so as well. We definitely need to get through the dollar, but 95 is where Cardano had some troubles last time as well. 93, 94, 95. So let's try and crush the dollar if we have to come back, use it as support, break through the dollar. If it sits above a dollar and find some area of reaccumulation, that's also a fantastic sign for Cardano. Uh, the volume is looking good. We're on a weekly chart here. So we're looking at big picture views, macro views. We're not on an hourly chart. We're not on a four hour chart. We're not on 15 minute charts big picture views because we want to see big picture gains. That's why I'm always looking at the big picture chart and not focusing on the lower time frames. So the volume has come in as we broke through this area here. You can see it on the chart. This was uh, this was the first reaccumulation after the breakout. Then we had another reaccumulation. Now it looks like we're going through another reaccumulation. This is all very positive news for Cardano. So here is the, the volume breakout. You can see that there. Another huge volume as we started to push and test the dollar. Got a dollar and two, dollar and three. Then we're up here again. Nice high close at the moment. We've got three days to go on the weekly. We want to see it close above this level and just continue to close higher and higher. Otherwise, this sort of structure is also a nice positive sign as well. Just a reaccumulation above those levels. That's all positive signs. And so far, it looks like it's holding its level. Next, let's look at Cardano versus Ethereum, ADA versus ETH. This is looking reasonably good too. In the past, all we've seen with Cardano versus Ethereum is that it tends to spike up to around uh, 56,000, 57,000 GWEI. So GWEI is the, the gas symbol for Ethereum. And then pretty much come back down to around 20,000 GWEI. Let's just call it gas. It sounds so much nicer than, than GWEI. All right, so let's go on the gas, 20,000 to around 30,000. Currently, we're sitting at about 47,000. So we definitely need to break through the 57, 58,000 and hold above it if we are going to see Cardano be a better investment than Ethereum. All right, so if you don't understand that, like I said, go and check out the Instagram down below. And I've got a daily Q&A over there. You just ask your questions in Instagram stories. I'll have a question up there and then you can talk to me about that in more detail. Essentially, all it means is if we're buying down here at around 20,000 and selling ADA up here at around 40,000, then we have doubled our Ethereum. We've doubled our Ethereum holdings. If it happens to go further, then we're getting a better, a, a better return on our Cardano investment because we don't know if Cardano is going to go up and stay up. History has shown that it's gone up and come back down, gone up and come back down. It's gone up. Let's hope that it stays up for Cardano holders sake and break through the resistance above here. Wouldn't concern me if we happen to see a little fallback and a retest of somewhere around 38,000, 35,000, no problems at all. But we just don't want to see it come all the way back because otherwise we would have just been better off holding Ethereum. Now, some Cardano holders get extremely triggered when I talk about this. And if you're one of those and you're leaving little comments down below, no worries. Just hear me out. Listen to what you can do with your Cardano. This is a much 
easier trade to make to increase your ADA holdings because you can see the trend here. You can see that this would be a good time to buy. This is another good time to buy. This is another good time to buy. And then as hard as it is, potentially providing this structure stays in play, selling your Cardano for Ethereum, maybe US dollars, probably more so Ethereum, and then you watch the market fall. So Cardano loses value against Ethereum. Now you have double the amount of Ethereum to come back and buy more Cardano. So maybe you have a thousand Cardano here, you sell a thousand up here, you come back down, now you can buy 2000 Cardano. So before you get triggered, maybe you're already triggered by this point, hear me out, and this is a great trading strategy to use to increase your Cardano holdings. Now I do this across multiple different cryptocurrencies, and that's what we've done with many other trades that we've looked at on the channel. Go back and check out the altcoin videos on the channel if you want a little more insight to it. So that's Cardano. Let's take a quick look at the Bitcoin dominance because this is what we want to see continue to fall if we're going to continue with an altcoin season. So far, double top is still playing out for Bitcoin. Tops are in place here. We're still looking at a target of around 54 to 50. So this is on the BTC.D. So this is the dominance. If we happen to see the dominance continue to fall, then generally, we see the altcoins continue to pop off. We've seen a pretty decent altcoin season already through from December into February. Maybe we're just gonna see a little uptick here because look, it did go straight down, but there was a move up, another decent move up. It's probably due for a move up. We're not just gonna go straight down. So if we do happen to get a move up in the Bitcoin dominance, maybe Bitcoin continues up, the rest of the alts stay steady. Maybe they bleed out a little bit and then we continue to move down maybe come back up and test this old support and now it becomes resistance and that really shoots us down and then alt season becomes very crazy. So right now we're trying to break through the resistance or the support that we've seen previously in August of last year and September. That would be the showstopper in alt season if we can get through this low here. So have that set as your alerts looking at around 58 on the dominance. Get your alerts out, get trading view. There's a link in the description down below. You can use the free version. Set your alert at around 57 to 58 on the dominance. We get a crack at that. Altcoin season should go nuts. Cardano news. IOG has released Daedalus version 3.3.0 for Cardano. The update brings support for the Merry Hard Fork. So this is looking like it's going to be March 1st. As we can see here with the next news article, March 1st coming out, hopefully, Merry Hard Fork. What we've seen in the past is a lot of good upwards traction on the buy price as we lead into these sorts of events, especially hard forks and anything massive, big rollouts on main nets, things like that. What tends to happen afterwards, and if I wanted to be a channel that I could just boom the subscribers, I could always hit you with all of the hopium, but what tends to happen afterwards is we get a sell-off. Now, let's hope we can continue up, burst through some of the resistance levels that we've seen. That's gonna be the critical part to holding support above the resistance levels as we go through the mainnet launches and into the other side of this news. So we, we probably won't go straight up to two bucks, unfortunately for the holders, all right? But it gives another opportunity to reaccumulate. So it's not all bad. There is a lot of things coming out in Cardano's uh, roadmap throughout 2021 and beyond. So if we can break through the, the resistance levels, the news comes out and then we hold above the resistance. I see that as being the best case scenario for the news and the price action. And of course, keeping the energy in the market. We don't wanna see all the energy leave the market after the news event. And if you've been around long enough, you know that tends to happen with news article after news article. So let's hope we get that. That would be the best case scenario to at least hold those gains, reaccumulate and move up again for Cardano. We also have Hoskinson running his hot mouth again on social media. Ethereum is a 96 year old karate fighter in a wheelchair. So he's comparing it to Cardano. Look at this stage, Cardano can basically be vaporware. Now, I know that's not a popular opinion, but Ethereum, there is stuff happening on it. There's NFTs, there's a hell of a lot of stuff. There's DeFi, there are decentralized exchanges. 
there's a lot on Ethereum. We're talking about ADA. We want ADA to go up. ADA is a great project, right? Hoskinson needs to calm his chops, get on with the job, release these things, even if they're not 100%, which they never are in technology. Come on, let's be real. Get the project rolling and then catch up to Ethereum because we want to see the ADA ETH price increase a hell of a lot. All right, so let's stop running the chops there, Hoskinson. Get on with the job and make that ADA token increase in value even more so. Venus Protocol will enable liquidity mining with Cardano. It's another cool thing here. All right, let's get this mainnet launched. Let's see the price rip through that dollar and uh, reaccumulate so we can then get to our dollar fifty and two bucks from this point. It's only at about, like we saw, a $30 billion, so just short of that, a $28 billion market cap. There's still a lot of room. We can see Ethereum here at 220. So even if we got to half of Ethereum's value, uh, we're still going at around uh, 3x from here. And I'm sure a lot of people see ADA going far more than a $3 ADA. So really, to go to a 60 billion, 90 billion, 100 billion, a nice looking $3 ADA is pretty much on the cards for this bull cycle. How long will it take? You let me know in the comments. What month do you think will hit as a $3 ADA? We've got to triple our, uh, our market cap from this point. So that's the ADA update. It's looking good on all fronts. Bitcoin value against its Ethereum value and the US dollar looks like it is getting ready to pull another big move up. Uh, providing we can stay in alt season. So that is the disclaimer there onto Bitcoin. It's up to Bitcoin at the end of the day, but looking good. ADA is looking great across all fronts against Ethereum, against Bitcoin and its US dollar value. This is our portfolio that we're building out. This is the Aussie dollar part of the portfolio. We're up to around 14,500, 12% growth at the moment. Uh, Cardano makes up about 13% of it. Now, if you want to buy Cardano, you're based in Australia. This is SwiftX. There is a link in the description. Don't use Telegrams, WhatsApps, whatever the hell else is in the in the comments section. There's a whole lot of scammers down below. So just go across to trade, then we go across to buy, and then pretty much just put in Cardano in the search assets here. There's Cardano and $1.17 Aussie. All we gotta do is just type in how much do we want. We wanna hit a thousand, that's it. Instant buy and it will pop up for us. And then we just hit confirm. So we already got that in our portfolio, but that's how you do it right there. If you found some value from the video and you wanna support the channel, leave a like down below. Let's see if we can get it to a thousand likes on the video. We're nearly at 60,000 subscribers. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. We're gonna be here throughout the crypto bull market and beyond because this is an investment channel. And if we need to trade our profits into other asset classes, we need to rotate them. That's what we look at as well. Stocks, crypto, property, it's all here on the channel. If you wanna join the Investor Accelerator, there's a link down below, 12 month membership to the program. Learn how to trade cryptocurrencies, learn how to rotate your profits into other asset classes. Uh, it's a beautiful crash course and long-term investment strategy down below. So go check that out. I'll catch you guys at the next video or I'll see you on Instagram for daily Q and A's. Until then, have more fun to get more done.